in Struga. It just took me an hour, 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock now. Uh, and today I'm just walking down the main street because obviously yesterday it was too early. Uh, this is the main street. And this is uh, another church. Obviously there's lots of churches here and there's a market as well. Oh, it's so cute. Really, really cute uh, stuff here. All kinds of herbs. So, I mean, it's a good time for me to come to the market because I haven't had anything to eat as well. So, So the plan for today is uh, once I get something to eat, I think I'm going to walk to Kalise because it's five kilometers, why not, right? So anyway, uh, one thing I will do though, I don't want to have uh, these things again. Oh no, I don't want another chicken burger because I'm always having chicken burger. Um, I'll go to the supermarket, get some water and uh, maybe I should also change some money. Let's see, let's see. Let me first get something to eat. Guys, this is the borek. It's with cheese. There's only two options, cheese or um, meat. So obviously I've gone with the cheese version. Let me tell you how it tastes. This is the all important taste test. So... It's really comforting. It's it's not fantastic. It's good. It's good. I've asked a couple of people and it's supposed to be just a straight walk so along the lake so ahead of me is the lake and then I'm supposed to just turn right and keep going straight 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 so I think I, I, I think I can do walking straight by the lake and obviously uh, along the way there might be uh, places to rest if there's nothing, I still have water. I still have uh, some backup burek. So it should be okay. And it's five kilometers. I mean, if it wasn't for the backpack, it's really not even that much of a difference. It's not even a big deal. I want to take one small break before I go. But not because I need a break, but because I need a comfort break. And the only way to do that is to have a coffee or something. Thank you. Guys, so I'm just having a coffee break, mainly because I needed to use the restroom. So I've done that. And obviously, it's just not... Uh, I could have tried, but I just found it really embarrassing to come somewhere and just use the toilet. So I'm having coffee. Uh, which will be good for me anyway. So it's just lake facing. Here outside seems to have some sort of glass house. So in the, even in the winter, there's lots and lots of people just sitting there, uh, coffee and smoking and. Um, Oh, it looks so cute. <laughs> Can you see the little baby? I think they're for kids, so it's for scouts. And uh, they have like these little cabins. So, so, so adorable. <laughs> oh. 
there's hotels all along the way so I guess these are the ones where it's uh, slightly cheaper to stay here there's quite a lot of stray dogs in there they're not barking or anything I've started walking outside now just left the sort of city uh, I mean it still looks like uh, the town or the city or whatever but we're going away you can certainly feel that there's campsites the traffic's reduced and all I've got in front of me are the beautiful mountains and yeah so beautiful wow this is exactly the kind of thing I like to do and uh, sometimes you need to have a little bit of courage and uh, and I think sometimes just following your intuition as well like uh, sometimes I've gone to some countries and I and I don't feel like I should be doing it at all regardless and here I feel like no it's fine so I guess the universe always knows when you're ready and where you should do what so whatever ideas you have just just listen to your intuition you know yesterday yesterday I was speaking to one of the fathers at the monastery and uh, I said to him he said everything if we have free will and then there's God and I said sometimes there's free will and I had uh, even booked to go to, to come to Macedonia five years ago and then he said maybe at that time there was no space for you here or you weren't ready so you have to keep knocking on the door and uh, with patience so sometimes you might be knocking the door doesn't open but you have to keep knocking and do it patiently so that's what I'm, that's what I did I kept knocking on Macedonia's door and here it is finally there's not much of a sidewalk here so whenever I, I hear or see speeding cars I'm just stopping and waiting for them to pass they go for a taxi this time I think there's lots of villages along the way so I'm just passing by one I don't know if you can hear the dogs barking but there's villages and actually just on that side there's a walking path and there's actually one person walking there cars passing or vehicles passing so it's not too bad but uh, yeah that it's like proper countryside I guess and there over there is the path and there's a person walking there actually so in fact there's a second person in front of me on that path so uh, it's not that unusual from the looks of it uh, so I think I put, I'll stick to this one but the only difference is the other two people are traveling light <laughs> unlike me but guys a good thing about just having all your bags with you of course it's super 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 heavy and I would have enjoyed it more without it but now I don't have to worry about oh I have to go back somewhere uh, to get my bags I can literally uh, do whatever I want I could say in Kalishti I could carry on to the next village I can do whatever I want so I certainly have that freedom oh, see it's such a busy path there's so many vehicles coming I'm going to stop here because there's a car in front of me so yeah So much rubbish around I don't know what's going on uh, I guess just rubbish and environmental issues are everyone's problem really isn't it there seems to be some camping sites as well the only place to feel like home camping rhino one kilometer straight Okay, so guys, there are places to camp 
uh, this is free Wi-Fi as well so yeah so you're not too far away from anything really it feels remote but it's not that remote so uh, for a novice like me this is definitely uh, reassuring <laughs> A gentleman there cycling away he's but he's got life experience you know his little basket at the back so any heavy load goes in there there's something else here a restaurant a cafe a cafe and uh, just by the lake wow what a view spectacular there's nobody there you know, this is private land so I was tempted to go and sit this little bench there uh, it's tempting, but obviously it's private property. The gate is closed, so I'll just carry on walking. There's a little pier and everything, so you can camp here as well. It's called Camping Lila or something. Yeah, cafe bar Lila camping. Oh, look! So you can do it here, free Wi Fi. Wow, it's a lovely, lovely, lovely place. Really nice place. Although I cannot see anyone here. Yeah. Wow, spectacular views. Great place to camp. Wow. Guys. This is exactly why I love walking and walking and walking. The, you take in the place better and you get to see things. And I know there's the internet and everything, but no matter what, walking gives you so much more information. Oh, look at that, what a view. It would just be an absolute dream to camp here. Wow. Guys, I just found a path to come closer to the lake and uh, honestly I could use a small break as well because the back, maybe for, uh, for the sake of my back and that's the campsite there from this side so this is what it's all about guys Lake Orhid right behind me uh, a little bit of a rest The water is absolutely crystal clear. Can you just see how clear the water is? Wow. So actually, I'm not trespassing because where I am, just over here, this is the walking path. So if I was walking, I'd be getting this view anyway, but I've been walking on the road. So... think that uh, Struga and all these little villages around the lake are a lot nicer than um, uh, Orhid but obviously Orhid is the big city so it's easy to get there uh, but once you're there I think do make the effort to come out because this is much more in its natural state it's nature in its natural state because at Orhid it's a bit more built up understandably so there's a lot more hotels and the whole area is sort of, uh, you know, there's a parking there. There's all sorts of things happening, all sorts of entertainment, which is good uh, if you're a family and you're going there. But if, like me, you just want to sit here, take in the lake, no one to bother you, this is it. I think the greasy break is quite 
a good thing to eat now. Plenty of energy. Alright guys, after that 15 minute break, I'm ready to go. So, fed, watered, good to go. I think I'm halfway there, I don't even know. So I guess I'll only know when I see some kind of human settlement. So yeah, let's get going guys. Hello. Hello. And uh, yeah, I think for the rest of the journey, I might stick to this. Um, approaching some kind of settlement it might be the start of Kalishta because I can see schools on homes electric poles everything so we must be there almost there at least So when the lorry was uh, honking, he was basically... This is not the campsite here. This is welcome. When you arrive, feel free to open the door and to call this number. So... So I've asked several people and everyone says straight, straight, straight. We just got... This. So here we are. This, I believe, is... I don't know. Oh. But it's really beautiful, the view. I do highly recommend this walk, guys. It's fantastic. Highly recommend this type of walk. Do it if you can. Um, again, even better if you can get a room or something, say in Struga or somewhere like that, and leave the bags behind. I think this is it. I think this is it. <laughs> the, the monastery is open every day. 8 a.m. till sunset, yes. Yeah, the Monastery of Holy Mother of God Monastery. So up here, this little cemetery. But there are visitors. There are visitors here, so don't think like, oh, you're just completely lost or anything. No, uh, but if you really want a full service experience, you want to stay, then uh, this one, I don't know, if you just show up, you may not, whereas with Bigorsky, you could just show up and you'll still be able to, to you know, uh, fully get immersed in it. And this one, the, these are the views of the monastery. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. It's a chapel here. So let me just go inside. Guys, just behind me is the cave church. The door's open, so that one, one of the nuns will let you in. And it costs two euros or 120 uh, Macedonian dinar to enter.
guys, I just finished the tour of the cave uh, church. Really, really, really worth it. It was two euros, and one of the nuns or somebody here will open it for you. So quaint, so cute, and something there is a something magical over there. So please, if you come here, uh, just as you enter, you turn left, and it says here, uh, cave church. Just to look. It says here cave church it, it says over here and it's right at the entrance so i've finished this so as soon as you enter you see the water to your left and the church is to your right so that's the cave church so that's the entrance right there and then to, to this side is the lake and to this side is the cave church and uh honestly uh this monastery, as I said, initially I thought, oh, I don't know, like it's so quiet. I didn't find my way around, but I'm really glad I walked it. I'm really glad I came here. It's just really, really, really fantastic. I think when I first got here, I was so tired. I couldn't fully appreciate it, but now that I've rested and I've walked around, it's really nice. And even not just the cave chapel, the other chapel as well. Very beautiful and uh, you can buy holy water and candles as well uh, so yes highly recommended please do come here fantastic fantastic it's time for me to start making my way back to Struga now so hopefully I will find <laughs> um, somebody to take me back either a hitchhike or a, 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 or a taxi something anyway that's it guys gonna start walking thank the sweet lord i'm on the coach to struga it cost 30 uh, dinar i didn't know about it guys i'm back in struga it's literally literally five minutes on the minivan because i just walked out of the monastery i was taking pictures of the village i jumped in and boom 